Welcome back. This is John again, and uh, I'm going to show you another. This is a little uh, sewing machine I got from Goodwill uh, just a few days ago. It's a chain stitch machine, so it's only got thread on the top side, and it's battery powered. It says copyright 1973 Southbury Manufacturing Corp. Made in USA. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a couple of US patent numbers on it. So this is the battery compartment in the back. It takes four D cells. The thread just pops on this little holder which swings in and out. This is the uh, on-off button, and this just allows you to pull the needle up and down. Uh, this tension assembly, I think it's missing a disc on it, but the whole thing was only $2, so <coughs> I guess I can make something if I have to. But anyway, it uh, goes through the tension disc and through a couple things and down into the needle. And here's a lever here to raise the pressure foot to get your fabric in. So let's run it through here and see what we can get. Whoops. Assuming I don't sew my finger together. Okay. Come on. Go, let go. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to cut that off because with a chain stitch you can just pull the whole thing out and reuse the thread again if you want to. I mean, not that people do, but me being cheap, I do. So it's kind of a funky chain stitch on the back side, but if you need something to sew together a couple of pieces of material and then later on you have to pull it out, just use a chain stitch and you can just pull the whole thing right back out again. I use that type of stitch to, to do uh, burlap bags, usually like feed store burlap bags. They're a chain stitch so you can open them up real easily. So anyway, a Southbury, I don't know what what it's called, it doesn't have any name on it, it's just got the manufacturer's name, Southbury Manufacturing Corp. But it's a, just a funky little machine from the 70s. Thank you for watching.